If you're do the, doing the social media, are you the guy blocking the comments and taking the comments down? Deleting comments? Yes. Yes. You yes. are. Good morning. Hope you're doing good today. This is Drew at Auditing Reno 911. Appreciate you watching, sharing what I'm doing, and I'm following up again on my arrest um, and some social media stuff I've been trying to, to post out there. The Carson City social media sites have been uh, removing all my posts from them. And so I'm going to go to City Hall and ask them about that today. So anyways, that's what I'm up to. And uh, we'll turn it around and get to it. Here today to gather some information. Business hours. Hi there. Hi. Oh, I just wanted information. So she's not very friendly. What does she do? Carson City Public Guardian's Office. She could have just answered my question. I just want information. Oh, can you give me information? I want to talk to the city manager. That's correct. Over there, okay, thank you. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Um, I'd like to talk to the city manager. She is in a meeting right yeah, now. She's actually not here. Who? Deputy City Manager isn't here either. Um, who, she really who, who could I talk to that would be the highest level you can go to that is here? Yeah, so it would be the City Manager. Mm -hmm. um, nobody else really here. Um, when, let me let me go check her calendar really quick and see when she'll be back. I'll be okay. Right back. Okay. Um, what what about her assistant or? That assistance yeah, assistant. Yeah, so she's actually on the VNT commission. So she's also gone. She's the deputy city manager. Okay. I think, are you willing? Do you want to schedule an appointment? Well, I can schedule. I'd like to schedule an appointment. I'd like to solve the problem faster if there's a way to do that. I mean, if, I think she would probably be. She is, you know, she because the highest. Well, who who does the uh, who who does Carson City social media? Oh, um, we have a PIO. Um, he is also not here. I do. And oh, then you we do? Have James, yeah. as ja well. James, how are you? My, my name is Drew. How's it going, And uh, if you're do the, doing the social media, are uh, you the guy blocking the comments and taking the comments down? Deleting comments? Yes. Yes. You yes. are. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, do you know what uh, the Supreme Court has said and the Ninth Circuit has said about that? Um, about blocking users? Uh, blo yes. Blocking users and removing comments. But removing comments? Removing comments, yes. Right, and it, I think it was in reference to like uh, when they consider websites or social media pages as open public forums, right? Yeah. Um, through our conversations with the, because I didn't create this stuff, right? Through our conversations with the district attorney's office, Right, we have mm -hmm. a policy that we put in place for websites. Right. Which well, I'm not a website. I'm I'm I'm, I'm I'm an individual. Right. Posting my my opinions and posting my information in the public forum. Uh -huh. So so I think at least. Wait. I'll so you you're the ones that links to all the videos. I'm the one That's with the links to the videos okay. with Carson City Sheriff's deputy hotboxing right. and torturing me. So why is why does Carson City covering for this employee? Why are you hiding what this employee did to me? So the information that you have online, it has nothing to do with... It doesn't matter what you think or you no, feel. exactly. I, I'm and, and my information has to do with Carson City. Right. And my information is applicable to Carson City. And whether I wanted to sit there and uh, say, fuck, shit, damn, whatever, and post it, it's not for Carson City to remove it. There, there's a, there are Supreme Court cases... Donald Trump, for example, he got sued for blocking people and and, and, and and removing their posts from his social media page, right? Remember that? Donald Trump was told he couldn't do that. The Ninth Circuit Court just ruled recently, 
in, in a, a case called Garnier, and that's now the Supreme Court. And essentially, that, that case is a little bit different. What that case is, is you as an employee working for Carson City, on your personal social media page, can you block people if you're discussing governmental issues? Right. And that's what the Supreme Court is deciding. They've already decided that governmental social media pages, you cannot block my, my speech. So let's go to the Constitution of the state of Nevada. Let, let's put the U.S. Constitution aside for just one moment. But do you know what Article 1, Section 9 of the Nevada Constitution is? Um, I'm not familiar with it. Okay, you should be, because you, you're, you're a government employee. You should probably know the Constitution better than I do, because you're supposed to uphold it, right? I mean, there's a lot of... But, I don't but know everything about No, I, 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 I understand. It's I understand. a long list of things, right? So well, I mean, no, no, the Constitution is not that long, really. It's, 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 it's not that bad, especially okay. the Bill of Rights. Okay. And all that I'm talking about is Article 1, Section 9. that says, no law shall be passed to abridge the right of speech or press. Okay. And so you're abridging my speech and my right of press because I'm doing both in these comments. Because the only thing I'm, doing I'm exercising my right to let people know what Carson City employees have done. And Carson City, the government, is blocking my speech and not allowing me to communicate with other human beings. I hear you. Right? The mm -hmm. only thing I'm doing is following the social media policy that we have set in okay. place. Well, then, then there's, there's some more case law you need to know about. Because what, what I'm doing right now is what's called mitigating the problem. Okay. So, so to mitigate the problem. So right now, before, before I go to the next level, beyond the mitigation stage, which is dealing with the people that have done the damages, you, you need to know if I go to the next level. So in the state of Nevada, there's a Supreme Court case ruling called Mack versus Williams. And, and it's, it's huge. And what that says, is are you aware of what qualified immunity is? Yeah, I'm that. So, so you as an employee of government can get qualified immunity in federal court. That's that's something that the Supreme Court put into place back in the, uh, what, 1969, I believe, or something like that. Um, but the state of Nevada recently ruled in our Supreme Court, did you know that I can sue you personally and you have no qualified immunity? Um, I think I saw your post on that. Mac versus did, Williams. did try to do some reading on yeah. that. Right? So, so I don't want to sue anybody personally. What I'm trying to do is mitigate the problem talk to everybody involved. I've talk, tried to talk to Kenny Furlong, the sheriff. Mm -hmm. I've tried to talk to, to D.A. Woodbury, and now I'm trying to talk to you guys. Okay. And I'm trying to do all these things in order to mitigate the problem and come to a resolution prior to going to the courts. So that's my goal here. Okay. So, so for you, what I would suggest is look at yourself and do I have personal liability? Is my boss telling me to break the law? So is that policy telling you to break the law? Is that policy telling you to violate constitutional rights? The only rights? thing I'm doing, right, and, and if you allow me to. to yeah, oh, to, please. Right. The only thing I'm doing is I'm following a set of guidelines that's been created with our social media policy, mm -hmm. right? And one of the stipulations of that states that any uh, messages or comments that are not related to the post at hand, we can remove that. And, and, and that, no. because your post, I don't treat your post any different from someone trying to sell their t-shirts through our website or, or through our, our social media pages, right? Like, they're not, I don't see them as different. Yeah, yeah but they're, that's, they're the same, right? That, that's, that's and, yeah, anyways, I'm sorry. Yeah, and according to the policy, that's something that we, we at our discretion can remove those things. And I try my best to try and remove those things. Right, so it, it has nothing to do with your context in general. We just try to be consistent, right? Because there's people that um, post things that are completely not related to the topic at hand, and so therefore we have the, according to our social media policy, to remove those things. Okay. Um, I'm familiar with cases though when it comes to like removing comments that are unfavorable, right? If you were to go to our page and look at our social media page right now, um, and you look specifically at our uh, banner that's on that on the sheriff's department's page. It's a girl with the blue flag, and there's officers um, running with her. Right? The main comments are on that page. Only there, very few people commented, but they're commenting it how like they respect law enforcement. However, like changing the colors of the flag is a desecration of the flag. Right? Those posts are still up, and the reason why they're still up is because it's relevant to the post that I made. Right? And so, and so, according to our social media policy, I have to look at those guidelines and say, okay, yes, this may look negative, negatively 
on the sheriff's department, but is it relevant to the post? Mm -hmm. And if it is, it stays up. Okay, so so let me, uh, did you, I, I, I'm not sure you saw it. I, I made a post about a city called Woodland, Colorado. It's got very few views. Should probably re redo it. But uh, here's some case. Now, Woodland, Colorado is in the, the 10th Circuit, I believe, as opposed to we're in the 9th Circuit. Okay. But Woodland, Colorado had the same type of policy that you're describing. And one man sued them, and this single individual got $65,000. dollars so, so, I, him, so, right? so, 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 like. what I'm, I'm, I'm just like I said, I'm trying to mitigate the problem, trying to let you guys know what the history of the case is, and right. and what I would, what I would suggest to you is, you, you, you probably need to call Jason Woodbury up and say, hey, Drew just came to talk to me. Jason knows yeah. me. Uh, he's he's been <laughs> in my sure, videos. I'm, sure he knows you. Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm not a quiet individual when I think something's wrong. I try mm -hmm. to fix the problem. That's really what I'm trying to do is solve the problem in, in a, a peaceful, legal framework and make sure that I, I give everybody an opportunity to, to know that I'm here and I've got a problem and I think you're doing wrong. Right. Um, um, so that's really what I'm about is how do I solve the problem. That's why I record because uh, if, I, if there wasn't a recording of me sweating to death, with the sweat dripping, my sh my shirt all splotched, and, and the deputy saying, "Gee, you look a little wet." Would you believe I'd been hot boxed? Right. Oh. So, I'm saying there's a problem. I'm trying to get the information out through the public forum of social media that Carson City runs, so Carson City residents can see what their government is about. Now, my impression is government's not going to like this because I've been making this complaint for a year and a half now, and, and, and Jeff, Deputy Jason No Bueno, w would you agree, would you want to deal with a deputy like that 40 seconds out of his car as in handcuffs? Would you want to deal with that? W would you want to be talked to the way he talked to me? So, so I, I'm a little I upset, and, 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 I, I and, and, and unfortunately, when, when Deputy Bueno decided to take his illegal actions, he caused this reaction because our, our legal system is very slow and, and churning and grinding. Yep. So, okay. so I mean, uh, until it's dealt with, I'm going to be around. And I'm going to keep following up, and I'm going to keep digging, and I'm going to keep looking. A and the more I look and the more I find, the more illegal actions I, I come across. And I'd rather not. I'd rather have government do the right thing, follow the Constitution. I think one thing that would be good for all of you guys, you don't know the Constitution, I'm a business guy. I've never worked for government. Have you have you ever even sat down and read the Nevada Bill of Rights? I'll bet you the answer is no. I, um, I, there's like I said, there's a lot of things that, I mean, if everyone in every department knew everything about I, every responsibility, I don't want job, them to know. It would this be very challenging, right? It, this isn't the but, Constitution's not a, just about. It's about everybody's job in business. I understand. Everybody's that. job and in business is the Constitution because that defines the, the role that you have in government. Correct. That, that defines Within what that, you're allowed well, to do. There's, there's statutes, right? And then there's there's uh, policies and procedures, right? So it filters down from the Bill of Rights to all these other things, right? And then everything is kind of compartmentalized to where this is our specific job function. Right. right? Now, for me, I can't go... A wall and just decide. Okay, this is appropriate to post or, or to delete, and this is not. I have to follow a policy and the rules and procedures, and that's all I'm trying to do. Right. Well, right? And, and it's not that I'm treating your information or what you post different from what someone else is posting that is not relevant to the posts that we're making. And and you may be right in what you're arguing for, but I'm just saying from my perspective, I have to follow the guidelines and rules that have been set forth before me. Well, what, what right. I would what I would advise you to do is to stop deleting stuff until you get really, really clear guidance, because you're trampling on the First Amendment, freedom of speech. Do you know the five prongs of the First Amendment? There, there's five aspects of the First Amendment. Do you, do you know the, the different aspects? I'm sure you do. I, I, I do. I'll, I'll, I'll let you go read them. But you, you, you should, both of you should understand them and read them and know what they are. Because not only do they protect you personally in life from an over reaching government. But as government employees, if you don't understand what these rights are and you go and trample on somebody else's rights, you can now be held accountable. And that's something where, where I've been in private business all of my life. If I screwed up at work, if I 
fucked up. If I cost somebody money, it comes out of my pocket. Government employees, if you screw up at work, do you take any money out of your pocket ever? For screwing up at work? Yeah. No. Why, why don't you got to pay for your screw-ups at work, but since I'm in the private sector, I got to pay for my screw-ups at work? Did I set that policy? I didn't. No, I'm, I didn't say you did. I'm just saying we, we talk about equality, we talk about skin color, we talk about all this other bullshit in life that I don't really think matters because the real difference seems to me in government, government employees don't pay for their mistakes, private employees do. Government employees break the laws with impunity and don't have any consequence. Private employees, private people, pay the consequences. So, so I think that's a problem. I'm not saying you created the problem. Right. I'm just saying you're living in the problem, and I'm living in the problem, and I'm calling it out and trying to resolve it. But when you, as an employee, are, you are made I'll, aware I'll that there's... the consequences are different. Well, that's... Yours financially, us, in a different way. Um, at the end of the day... I'm not saying they're equal. Not, not right? equal at I'm all. I'm not saying they're equal. But because the government, the government takes my money, the government gives you my well, money. Well, I, I think I would, I would say that to say that there's no consequences for government employees, right, I think that's kind of too broad. Well, what do you, would, what do you consider a consequence? That, if you're saying that money gets taken out of your pocket, but money doesn't get taken out of my pocket, right? Right. Okay, th those are different. That's a consequence, but... We have different consequences. Well, how they may not be equal. Well, what what is and they may what, not be? What do you consider a consequence in, in this job? That's that's an interesting question. What's a consequence for a government employee? You can get written up. You can get fired. A lot of unclassified employees, right? Without any cause, you can be removed from your position. Mm, that, without mm, cause, right? So that's I, a consequence. I, I, I'm I'm an employer. Mm -hmm. I've employed a lot of people in my life. Um. I don't need a reason to fire anybody. I walk up to any of my employees, it's it, it's it's an at-will employment state is, is the law in the state. So I think that that, that uh, perspective is we, we've got the same thing. If your your boss looks at you and for whatever reason they decide that they don't like uh, they don't like the zipper on your jacket, as long as they don't tell you they don't like the zipper on the jacket, they can fire you for not liking the zipper on the jacket because they just fired you. Right. Um, but there's classified employees where you can't do that, right? So there's there's two titles for government. One has more protection, has more protection. And, the other one doesn't. And I think you're highlighting a difference between the public sector and the private sector again, because in the private sector, guess what? There isn't any. There is yeah, no. Yeah. No. That's what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not like saying that. So, so I don't You see have any. it better, or we have it better, or your consequences. Uh, outweigh mine. I'm just saying that the consequences are different. Well, I, I would I, I would argue that there aren't really any consequences that you've you've described that don't exist in the private sector, and the consequences in the private sector are much greater because uh, financial remedies are taken from the employees, whereas in the public sector the employees don't pay any co financial consequences. So so Fair again, enough. just Fair just enough. a difference in you know. Uh, they, they show us uh, Lady Justice with her blindfold on. How, how is Lady Justice blind when, with what we've just described? Because you won't get brought in front of a, a judge. I got brought in front of a judge for carrying a camera, right? They're pretty clear on there. They arrested me for my camera and my blue shirt. But Jason Bueno broke the law by arresting me. I've described the law. It's out there. You can't interfere with, law enforcement doesn't get interfere with me recording, period. Unless I'm breaking the law. Right. So they broke that law. The Constitution is clear. Cruel and unusual. Locking a dog in the back of a hot car on a 95 degree day is a crime to do that to the dog. Jason Bueno did that to me. I, you know, I lost eight pounds that day when I went home. Well, and what, about $1,500 of the money that I had in my pocket. Because they counted that right out. Pretty good at that. And they kept that for a year and a half, just about. My money. All because I had a camera. And then you guys blocked me on social media. And you did. You guys did block me. Remember I sent that email about a year and a half ago 
where yeah. you guys had blocked me, yeah. and, and, and then you unblocked me because you'd blocked about nine other people on social media. Now, remember I said that $65,000 judgment in Woodland, Colorado? Start doing some math. Now, if we do have to go to court and resolve this, find out who they are and add them to the lawsuit, and then we add other, every other comment you've blocked and multiply that by $65,000, how many millions of dollars are we into? Do you see the problem? You're, you're, you're in a very bad area of the Constitution to be trampling. And that's whether you like my speech or you don't like my speech, that don't matter. Uh, yeah. Whether I like yours or I don't like yours, that don't matter. You right. can say what you got to say, I can say all what I, I got to say, God bless us all. Like I said, like I said, if, if there's legal stuff that you decide to do, right, that's, that's yours to, to do. That's yours to, to pursue that. All I'm doing is following the policy. Yeah. And, and your comments in relation to other comments that are not on topic with the post that's being made, it's why it's being removed. It has nothing okay. to well. do with the content of what you are, are fighting for, right? Mm -hmm. No offense to that. So it's, I'm just, so if, everything's if, treated in if, a similar manner. If method. I reference the post in my post and then include all my other stuff within that, you can't delete that then because I've referenced what you posted about and it expanded the topic. Possibly. I'm going to do Possibly. that. I'm going to do that and see what you do. Possibly. That's something that I would have because to get here, here, direction here, on. Well, here, here, because I, I have seen that. Here, I have seen that. Because here's what I'm, and, and those those have been deleted too. Because I've done that a little bit. Mm. A little bit. I'm, really? I'm gonna, Not really. Well, I'm, I'm going to be very clear in my doing it now. I'm going to take parts of the quotes of your posts, quote them, and then put my stuff in there. I, 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 I am. I, I, I am. I'll because get the direction from, because from, from what I need to do what, in order to, to manage that or whatever it is. If it stays up, it stays up and right. you'll find out, right? So, so like, do, you, do you know what auditing means? Have you ever been audited before? I'm it, familiar with what finance has to do with audit. Right, well, the, the, just the word audit. Now, I've run a business and, and the government comes and audits me every couple of years. They walk in with their guns and their badges and they go through a bunch of my paperwork and they go and inspect my equipment and they, they, they check out my operations and make sure that I'm operating lawfully. When I'm auditing, that's, that's essentially the same thing that I'm doing. I'm testing the system. I'm looking at questions going, this is a question to ask, is there a problem within this? This is what an audit is. Whether you're a financial audit, they're looking at the numbers trying to find the problem. What, whether a business audit, they're looking at the laws trying to find the problem. Or whether I'm doing freedom of the press, news information, mm -hmm. uh, I'm looking at it as an audit because the reason I'm looking at it as an audit, I'm looking at the information, looking at the law, looking at the actions and how do these actions match case law that the judges have decided the law that our legislature and our executives have signed and, and what's being upheld by our law enforcement and what the government employees are doing. Mm -hmm. And then I'm trying to solve the problems that I see by mitigating, which is what I'm doing now. And, and I'd rather not get to the next, the next stage, but we're very, very close because, well, my case has been dismissed and now there's more information out there that I've, I've publicized. So when I leave here, what I'd like you to do is call over to the district attorney's office ask them the questions that I've just asked you, ask them, do you have any liability? And here's what I, I would do if I were you, because this probably will go to a court. Ask them if they're going to indemnify you against any damages. So how does that protect you? That means that, that the city says, hey, this guy personally screwed up. He's being sued personally, but we're gonna cover him. If the answer is no, yeah, we, we have more questions. <laughs> so I, I, so, so I, 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 I'm giving you questions to ask to protect yes, yourself. And, and I appreciate that, right? And I don't think you're wrong in anything that you're doing. Right? I appreciate I that. Think, I think your pursuit of what you're doing is, is, is good for us to kind of understand where we stand, right? Yeah. And I, I just, back to the reason why you came in here, there's, there's, like I said, there's nothing personal with the things you're doing. I just have to follow a set of guidelines that have been set for me, right? Mm -hmm. And so... Um, However, this shakes up. Just know that, like, I appreciate you coming in. I appreciate the information. Huh? I've got no personal animosity to any of this. I, I'm trying to do this very professionally, deal with everybody very rationally, have good information, and, and, and make sure everybody has an opportunity to go ask the attorney. Because 
we're, we're, we're stepping on the Constitution by screwing with people's rights to speak, screwing with people's rights to uh, disseminate information as the press. And, and the press is not ABC, NBC, MSNBC, whatever. The press is you when you go out and you tell people information and knowledge that you have and disseminating it to them so they can make a decision about stuff. If you look at the origins of the press, the printing press, you know the church used to hate the press? Why did the church hate the press? Because the, the message can't be controlled anymore. There you go. Why does the government hate the press? Thanks, dude. Why does the government hate First Amendment <laughs> auditors? Why did the gal down there, as soon as she saw me walk in with a camera, close her doors <laughs> and turn her back on me? It's probably a lot of people uncomfortable being in front of the camera. And, well, and, and, and if we look out here, you, you got cameras everywhere. Yeah, but no one really like checks in on, on them being filmed, right? So it's, it's, it's a little different. It's a little different. Years ago, there was a car accident in Sparks. And, and I know a lot of people. And this car accident hit one of my cars. and. Uh, I called up this the sergeant that I knew over in Sparks and said, "Hey, there was an accident over here. Can you go look at the tapes and tell me whose fault it was?" Oh yeah, it was. And I told him, "Hey, this is one of my, my rigs. Can you can you make sure that my guy's either right or wrong, or what I need to do with my guy?" And he goes in and he looks at the camera and he sees everything. So so the assertion that nobody really looks at him and nobody really knows, you never really know who's looking. That that's that's the moral of the story. Because nobody nobody would have thought that there would have been cameras at this traffic circle. But believe it or not, the city of Sparks has cameras at this traffic circle. You can't see them, but they're there. They're there. Yeah. All right, man. Have a good one, guys. A, oh, and uh, what's your name? Uh, James. I should have a business card over here. And, uh, and I'd like you to get a, can, can I get that meeting with the city manager, too? Yeah, yeah. Let me actually. I'm, I'm yeah, sure she won't, or he, she won't, the city manager is she. Yes. She probably won't be happy, but um, that's not. Let me get your Right here. Okay. Thanks, James. And Thank uh, and I appreciate your 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 demeanor. But hey, again, right. ca call the city up and ask them if they're going to indemnify you. All right. Uh, just your name, your phone number, and then your email. And then we'll talk to her and then reach back out to you. Don't forget your phone. Yes. How many cameras you got on there? You got your GoPro? Right, right now you can only three, see three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty cool setup. It, yeah. Well, it's, it's... The problem is sometimes the cameras stop working, so the more you got, the oh. less chance you have of them not working. Yep. So like uh, I said, I try not to be litigious. Right now I've got one lawsuit against... Uh, d if you saw the, the video of Deputy Director Bill Quenga at Nevada Department of Corrections after my arrest. There's a go, go look at my history of videos. Uh, but when I went into Nevada Department of Corrections to do a public information request, uh, Deputy Quenga came outside of the door, uh, ordered me to stop filming. When I told him no, then he rushed me. Now, this is like a day or two after I'd been arrested and hotboxed, so I was a little bit uh, yeah. put off. Yeah. And so uh, he's the first case that I decided to test under the Nevada... Supreme Court new ruling that there is no qualified immunity in Nevada. Um, so that one's moving forward. I just opposed him uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, but the other case to look at in the state of Nevada is uh, uh, that's moving forward under the same case law, that Mack versus Williams case, is a case called Laura versus the state of Nevada. Now, if you ever saw the video of the uh, Marine that was traveling between Lubbock, Texas, in Portola, California, where the Nevada Highway Patrol stopped him and seized his eighty-seven thousand dollars in cash. Now he, he the guy's a high and tight Marine. Just you can tell a Marine, right? He was in Nevada, right? Yeah, he was in Nevada, yeah, just out, out. Yeah. yeah, so so he's suing the state under the same uh, reasoning that I am that they violated his constitutional rights. And, and that case, uh, that's in Washoe County District Court. And the judge just decided, after citing that Mack versus Williams case, that that's going to move forward to trial. So, so these cases are starting to move forward where uh, constitutional rights have been violated, and then people are, are suing in the state as opposed to going to federal court. And federal court's just a... I've been there once. It's, it's very expensive, and it's very difficult to overcome the qualified immunity unless the case law is very clear. Mm. Um, 
but that that's kind of what's going on as far as recently in Nevada with that stuff. Yeah, I think for us, you know, a lot of us, <coughs> we just get <coughs> we get stuck in the, just the things that we're doing, right? We don't really look outside beyond those things. So when when an anomaly comes by <coughs> and changes the conversation a little bit, it does kind of open us up a little bit to to oh, well, maybe we should see and understand this a little bit better. So well, I mean, like that's why I don't take these things personally. I don't well, take offense to them. It's just it's not. It just helps us better prepare. Well, that's, that's it. And, and here's one of the things that, if we do, if we can reach some type of settlement that I, I'd want in the settlement, it, is I want every employee from Carson City to have to go through eight hours a year of constitutional training. Because what do these words really mean? How do the courts deal with them? What are the examples of things you can do? What are things that you can't do as a government employee? Because the Constitution, most laws are created to restrict people. The speed limit restricts your speed. Uh, needing ID to buy cigarettes or, or spray paint restricts you. Laws restrict the people. The Constitution keeps the people's rights and disallow laws from restricting those rights, disallow actions from restricting those rights. So the Bill of Rights in the Constitution protects you. It doesn't tell you what you, what you can't do. It tells you what you can do as a, as a free individual within our society and our country. These are your rights, my rights, Where, whereas, you know, the speed limit out here is 25 miles an hour. And one, one of Sheriff Furlong's guys, if you're going 35, is he going to come out and give you a ticket? Hell yeah. Um, so you're restricted versus permitted. The Constitution permits. The Constitution restricts the government. It restricts you and your jobs and what you can and cannot do to me. So that's the difference between what the Constitution is, as I see it, and the Bill of Rights specifically. Other articles define what sections of government can do and what the responsibilities are. But the Bill of Rights gives freedoms. Laws give restrictions. Policies policies. Yeah. Policies tell you what you what you can or can't do. Policies don't define my world even a little bit. Unless it's a policy that I set in my business for my employees and then if they violate my policy just like that zipper that somebody might not like and fire you for. Right. So. Okay guys. Thanks. Drew. Have a good one. Hopefully yeah. you call me and set, set up an appointment. Yeah, let because me like know. I said I'd, I'd rather resolve mitigate solve the problems as opposed to anything else. And that way, if I have to do something else, then I can. Then the judge looks down at me and goes, "Mr. Rebar, have you tried to solve these problems? What have you done?" Well, judge, I got a lot of videos. All yeah. right. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Thank you. So you can't go into that door. Public access denied. Not much out this way, so I think we'll just kind of leave. All of this is just windows, treasurer's office. And there's the uh, gal that closed the, the door on me. Hi again. I don't think she liked me. <laughs> <laughs>